Hey guys, Mary Jam, July 17th. Hopefully the audio is working. I don't always check anymore, but there's a bud playing on his own. So, yeah. Um, anyways, getting ready for bed at 6 a.m. Really did not as much as stuff that I wanted to today, but again, I have an ear infection, so I've been taking medication since Friday. So, it's been kind of um, on, I mean, not Friday, Monday, sorry, Monday I've been taking, so, <laughs> medication, Friday, I went to the doctor for blood work, so, I've been crazy busy, um, unfortunately, but, today was payday for disability, so that's good, because now I paid off what I owed, I paid off the money, I so I didn't owe any money on my credit card, but I did, so I paid that off, <laughs> so I still have, uh, 300 left for the rest of the month. I mean, without including, like, rent and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> 300 spending money. So, I don't know if I'll take um, Bud to the vet today. I was thinking about it, but no, I'm just like, I still can't really hold him down, so I don't really want to risk it, and like I said, he's pretty healthy, I still have to go buy cat food and stuff like that, so it's like, I don't want to spend all the money just from vet stuff, <laughs> and like, his nails aren't really that long yet, so I think I can wait still till like, next month to bring him to the vet. Hopefully by then I could hold him, like I said, he was letting me, uh, cuddle with him more and stuff like that, and I do have to get calming spray and other things like that, so it's like, hmm, yeah, no, uh, probably just gonna wait to take him to the vet, because like I said, there's nothing, he's still not peeing anywhere, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't have unitary issues, so I've been switching the food and he's been fine on it, so no issues, so like I said, it's more like, because I thought, oh, I actually had money, but then I ended up owing <laughs> $200 on my credit card, so I paid that off, so that's the one that I have now, so I can't afford to use that credit card, because I'm not working right now, when I was working, that's when I got the Capital One credit card, so it's like, whenever I go over, I make sure I pay it off, so that's like, oh, I paid all that off, so, <laughs> now, I only have $300 left, but that's not too bad, so, yeah, that's why I go, I can't, as much as I want to, like, take Bud to the vet, I just, I'm not very comfortable taking him in yet, because he's still kind of, uh, what do you call it, scared and iffy, and I just can't hold him. I can't hold them down if they want me to hold them down, so, <laughs> yeah, so I'm probably gonna try not to, uh, take him to the vet, if anything, I might take him to, um, the Charlie's SPCA to get his nails done for free, and just do that instead, and, uh, yeah, we'll see. But like I said, there's no there's no rush for it. I'm extremely overwhelmed with everything else right now going on. That I haven't even really been able to do much. And, like, so much cooking I wanted to do. And then all that I ended up doing was making tempura. And I didn't even use up all the vegetables that I had. I just used the yam and the zucchini. So the yam ones kind of turned out, but not really. But... But this recipe, you're supposed to put it in one at a time, and I didn't. <laughs> I was too impatient. I'm like, no, I'm just gonna put it all in with the batter and then put it all in at once. And so yeah, I ended up with this, <laughs> with this, <laughs> which is still pretty good. I mean, there's still batter on it and stuff like that. So it's like, it's, and it's still cooked. It's just like. If you, a tempura, it's supposed to be, like, the vegetable, the batter's it's supposed to be around the vegetable. But you're supposed to dip it one at a time, and then dip it in the pot one at a time. I'm like, yeah, I don't have patience for that.
But, I mean, it's so good. So, I did get another recipe. Mmm. Then I'm going to try later today, hopefully, because I really don't want to go anywhere too far today, because I got to make my money last. <laughs> and then I have my vegan anniversary dinner on Saturday, so I got to save money for that. And like I said, but still... <laughs> but, uh... A little crazy, <laughs> as you can see. I mean, it's just now where he's finally letting me like cuddle with him, so it's like I don't want to bring him to the vet and be like, all of a sudden, he's uh, what do you call it, scared again of every little small little thing when it took this long just to get him to where he's at now. <laughs> it's like I don't want to. I don't want to risk that. So yeah, I'm just going to wait. And hopefully by then, hopefully by next month, he'll like let me hold him. And I could get him in the cat carrier. I've also been looking at cat carriers on Facebook. So, I know I said I was going to get one used, but they're, I think I'll be fine. Like I said, I'll just bleach it when I get it, get it and he's Mr. Clean on it but I need one that has the flaps rather than the screws so if I have to take the lid off then I can take the lid off easily I don't have to keep unscrewing it but he's eating out of the cat terrier that's here now on the side so he eats his food there <laughs> in the streets and hopefully that will help him get used to it and so then that way I don't really need to get comics right, right away either. I could wait till next month to get that. Like I said, I'm trying to be very, um, very careful with the money that I have left. So I don't have to keep asking people to borrow money. Because like I said, I did pay back also my friends and family who really Lent me money, so it's like all of a sudden, and I'm like, uh, three hundred dollars, <laughs> which is actually still quite a lot still, but it's for the whole month. And then, like I said, I gotta buy cat food. I gotta buy cat litter. Thankfully, I don't have to buy because I got it for free. But there's like treats that I have to get, so I'm gonna get that from Dollar. I might still want to get him some toys. I'd rather buy him toys and take him to the vet, and then get him all scared and terrified of it again so that's why i go yeah i think i'm just gonna wait <laughs> wait till i have more money for it and then that way too like if you say oh actually you gotta get him medication or you gotta get him this you gotta do this you gotta do that and then also the vet bills that was three dollars now over a hundred bucks <laughs> it's like i really can't afford that right now uh, like i said I was not expecting to get bud so soon, so I didn't, all that I had saved for him was $100, and then I took money out of my paycheck from disability to pay for him, basically, which was like 300 bucks, pretty much. <laughs> it was actually 210 but then when you include the food and the treats and the cab and all that stuff, then yeah, it adds up, so that's why I'm like, hopefully by... Next month, I'll have a little more money. And then I didn't know that I was going to owe money on my Capital One. But I think I owe money because I use Instant Cart too much. And then that sometimes goes over. And then, yeah. Well, at least that's paid off now. So, like I said, if worst comes to worst, I do have that credit card. But I'm trying not to use that credit card. Except for, like pay for YouTube and to get my pills and all that stuff that I need. <laughs> but you're going nuts. <laughs> and then I brought all his uh, toys out from the cat room so he could play with them. So now he's playing with them. I'm like, 
bud, you're seriously going nuts now? <laughs> I have cat TV playing. So yeah, I'm like, I'm just overwhelmed with everything right now. That I don't even really have the time or the patience to take him to the vet and try to deal with all this stuff right now. So, like I said, it's not an emergency. He's not peeing everywhere. He's not uh, attacking me. He's not, <laughs> he's not throwing up. He is perfectly healthy. So, it's just me wanting to take him to the vet because... I feel like I should, but like I said, it's not, nothing serious with him, so, other than he's nuts. <laughs> Aren't you crazy boy? You're a crazy boy. <laughs> you crazy bud. <laughs> so, yeah, just uh, letting you guys keep updated. I mean, if I had the extra money, I probably would take him in, but like I said, I gotta make my money last, and if anything does happen to him, I wanna make sure that I have that money saved, so, that's why I'm like, no, um, I'll just wait till next month, at least now I don't owe any money to anyone, and I don't owe any money to my credit card, so, life is good now, <laughs> but now I just have to the only problem, though, is that I only have 300 bucks till the end of the month, but that's fine, because I got my tab, and like I said, if horse comes to worse, then I do have people that I could ask for help, but like I said, I'm trying to stay out of that habit, which is why I gave money back to people. So, I feel really good, though, about that right now. That I paid off my credit card, that I paid off my debt, and I still have a little bit of money left, so... For groceries! <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I probably won't go to, uh, Tysol today. Now that I'm not taking bed to the vet, because I'm, like, Comic spray, too, is like 30, 30, 40 bucks, so it's like, that's pretty pricey, too. And I still have all these doctor's appointments that I gotta deal with, too, on top of everything. It's just like, and my place is a freaking mess. I'm still not ahead on that. So, yeah, I'm kind of overwhelmed. And the other thing, too, is that I still can't hear anything out of this year, so what's the point of taking him to the van? and they're talking to me, and I'm like, yeah, 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 I can't understand a word you say, but okay. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, I think I don't have to bring him to the vet. It's, like, not mandatory. I was just thinking, well, if I have extra money, I'll bring him in, but now I don't really have extra money because I'm being smart with my money. <laughs> being smart with my money, so... And like I said, the only thing that I use is the tab that I have, but even for that, I do have money set aside for my smokes and stuff, so, yeah, I think Bud's fine. Hey, Bud. Plus, I, I don't think I can take him to the vet, even if I want to take him to the vet, because it's going to be hard getting him to the cat carrier and then getting him to the vet and getting him to calm down. He's never been to the vet, so, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to wait. Like I said, he hasn't been throwing up, because I did think that he had unitary issues, but then, like I keep saying, as long as he's just not peeing everywhere, which he hasn't been, um, then it's good, and he's been fine off for scuffs. So, but I'm going to probably get some ultra for him next week. I want to pay rent off or so before I stock up on cat food. So, rent will probably be next week. <sighs> so, yeah. And I'm just overwhelmed. I just don't really want to deal with vets and right now. I have enough going on. <laughs> with my own issues and Thursday I have to do my own home 
my own testing at home and take it in on Friday and it's like oh uh, yeah no so yeah we don't have to take a bud to the vet yet I think next month should be should be better hopefully by then like all my doctor's appointments are going to be better in my ear this is the one that I can't hear anything out of so it's like so itchy but I've been taking my medication for it. So yeah, sorry for the lack of videos the past few days. But like I said, I'm taking medication two times a day. I'm not taking my unknown shaking condition medication because I'm on this medication. So I don't like to take too much medication, obviously, at once. But so far, it seems as though my... Unknown shaking condition whenever something's wrong with me then that doesn't bother me so because my ear is so messed up then I don't have to worry about my shaking condition <laughs> but I can't hear anything so that's the other reason why I don't want to go to the vet I'm like I don't want to spend 50 bucks on the vet and not understand a word that you say because I can't hear <laughs> so yeah <laughs> So we'll wait till next month, but at least you guys know that I can get butt into the cat carrier if I have to. And I'm going to keep putting his food in the cat carrier that's beside me there. With the towel, so he gets used to it. And then probably on the weekend, I'll probably start putting him in the cat carrier and taking him outside during the day. And then bringing him back in. So then that way he doesn't feel like, oh, we're going somewhere. <coughs> it's just outside in the back. <laughs> I'm not going to put him on the leash yet until until he lets me hold him. I'm not going to put him on the leash. I'm not going to let him outside. Not until I can hold him. Same, that's the same thing with the, the reason why I don't really want to take him to the vet. is because he's still not letting me hold him yet. So... Like, anything could happen at the vet, and, yeah, so, like I said, I still don't know how he acts around people, because nobody's come by since then, since he's been out and about, like, last time Christmas came by, he hid, and last time the family's kid came by, First, at first they didn't, he didn't hide, but now he hides. The last time, but then they haven't been by since then, so who knows? <laughs> who knows? Because now he's out all the time. And now, like I said, even when I'm just laying down, I mean, I'm in the hallway, coming in from the smoke, he lets me lay down beside him and cuddle with him and... So, it's cute, but it's only for like 10 seconds, so by the time I get my phone out, he's like moved, so I can't record that. <laughs> I still want to make a bud video, and like I said, I was going to make a video for all my cats, but that's just not going to happen. I just don't have the time or the patience for it right now, so maybe like in a year from now, I'll do another video for all my cats. But for now, it's just Bud. Just Bud and me. And I just got too much going on that I gotta... I still gotta work on my place. So. <laughs> I still gotta cook, uh... I was actually gonna use the oven. But I ended up doing the tempura instead. So it's like, that. Uh... So. But I did put the guy on. Half of it in the fr um, two different containers. So I could put half in the fridge and half in the freezer. I put half of the cinnamon rolls in the freezer. So then that way I could have that later. So I've been remembering to do that. So I don't, what do you call it, waste it. But I do have to go to, I don't have to go to hotel today, which is good. Or Metro Town. So, yeah, because um, I'm 
probably I'm just gonna wait on instant cook for that. So like I said, I'm probably just gonna go to I was gonna go to Tysol, but now since I'm not going to Tysol, since I'm not taking bud to the vet, I'm probably just gonna go up to Fraser when I wake up so I could go to the dollar store and the product store there. <coughs> we have the Dollarama and they have Dollar Tree. So then that's probably better. And then that way I save, I'm kind of saving money because then I'm not spending 20 bucks on calming spray just to take him to the vet. I'm like, I'd rather just have him wait till he's more relaxed. Like I said, it's only been a Friday. It's only been a month since I've had him. And he's doing pretty good, I think. Like, I don't, he hasn't thrown up at all since I've had him. Which is actually pretty good because, uh, Speckles, Hope, Josephine, all of them had those issues where they threw up. Oh yeah, I was gonna get, uh, that's what I was gonna get from Tysol. I don't know, maybe I will go to Tysol then. Because <laughs> I have to go get, uh, the... Because he does have, um, what do you call it? Uh, issues with going to the washroom. Which is normal for any cat. Like, my cats all have that problem where they go number two too much. <laughs> so, I get him the pumpkin stuff, and then that helps him, what do you call it? Be softer. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe I'll go. I do need to get toilet paper, too, so... We will go to the the, the Dharma on East Broadway, and then I'll go to Tysol, and then I'll go to Savon, and then I'll come home. Sounds like that sounds like a plan. Next time I'm awake. <laughs> Next time I'm awake. Like I said, I might end up sleeping till like four or five again. So I gotta sleep like every six hours too, so at least now I don't have to work stress either about getting bud to the vet just to get it checked out and how much is that gonna cost and yeah, no, I'd rather just buy him treats and toys and spoil him. <laughs> like I said, he's pretty healthy for his age and he's very active. He's up on the windowsill right now. <laughs> So, yeah, anyways, I am pretty much watching Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. Kind of sucks, I really want to go to the Holocaust Museum today. I've been trying to go since I found out about it, like, months ago. But then, I'm never up early or something happens, and... But, since I can't hear anything, I don't want to really go anywhere. <laughs> I don't want to go to the museum and be like, because then maybe they'll be like, oh, there's a tour guide, or they got to tell me the stuff. And I'm like, I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. What did he say? <laughs> but it's looking at me like I'm not. <laughs> it's just like, that's one other reason why I don't want to go to the vet. And I spend all that money. Going all that way and I'll be like, what did you say? What? 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 <laughs> it's like I'm already deaf as it is, so. <laughs> yeah, see, Bud's fine. He doesn't need, he doesn't need the, uh, that. I would only really take him if I really, really have to take him. But he seems to be good, so. Yeah, but at least if I do have to take him, then I will, but like I said right now, he's he seems to be fine, and I'm just waiting for my ears to get better, <laughs> but definitely on Saturday, I'm going, I'm doing my vegan anniversary dinner as well, and my, and my mom and her boyfriend is going, so... Even if nobody comes, at least I can hang out with them for a while. Mm -hmm. 
Because my mom keeps saying, too, that she wants to go there. She's like, I want to go where we had dim sum years and years and years ago. <laughs> I don't even remember when that was now. So. But. Oh. Oh, again. So, yeah. I'm just gonna stay close to home today and get lots of done, hopefully. So. The next time I'm awake, I'm probably not going to do too many videos because I'm just going to rush out the door, pretty much. Well, I'm going to, like, have my cup of coffee and shower and then pretty much go out the door. So, I might do, like, a quick video before I go out because now, like I said, I don't have to go anywhere too far. I'm literally only going to Maine and Broadway and Maine the 14th and then back home. So, because I got too much shit to do here. <laughs> I know, sorry for my language, but I have just way too much stuff to do here. And, yeah, it's like, and since I got to sleep, like, pretty much every six hours, it's like, it's even more difficult trying to put everything together. And then it's like, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> like, my living room has been a mess for like pretty much a week, I think. <laughs> but Thursday, um, I have to go pick up Emily's kid and have them come visit when I do laundry. So we'll see if uh, Bud stays out for them or not. The first few times he did, and then he started hiding. <laughs> So that's why I want to work on this living room, get the couch back together, and clear off the table. There's just so, so much that I gotta do. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> that's why I'm like, I know the dentist keeps calling, leaving me messages going, Oh, you have to come in. I'm like, I ain't got the time to go to the dentist right now. I've been going to the clinic for like the past two weeks, almost every single day, well, every other day, so it's like, nope. There's only so much I can do, and I don't want to be outside right now, it's too freaking hot. <laughs> so yeah, most likely, it'll be like the afternoon, that or like four or five that I go to, um, go out. Even though it'll still be hot out, but at least by then it won't be as hot. So, yeah. So, like I said, we're not going to worry about taking Bud to the vet. We're going to save our money. <laughs> we're going to save our money. And I'll get him some Ultra Food from Tysol, too. Because it's a little healthier than Frisco's. So, hopefully that will help. Or I might even get the Royal King you know, terry food for him and see if that helps anything. I don't know. We'll see. Although I know that I can't spend too much money today. So. Oh. Hey. We feel good paying back people. <laughs> it really, really does. Cause that's why I go, that's why I'm broke all the time. Because I'm always borrowing money and then I always got to pay back. And then some people, it took me longer to pay off. So it's like, oh, but now I feel good about it. And I don't owe smokes any money, so I don't have to go downtown today. And I still have some, so I could wait till Friday. And I have money... Actually, I did put uh, money aside, so I calculated my rent money and smoke money, so I put $80 aside. And then, that's how I came up with, I have $300 left. <laughs> so I did have the, that set aside, so. Because the $300 is still quite a lot, it's just that I gotta make it last, so. Try not to overspend. 
Although I did need to get some onions and some garlic and stuff. So, I don't know. We'll see. I might, I might not, I might just go up to freezer. <laughs> I might just go up to freezer. It's cheaper up there. Technically, I don't really have to go. Yeah, I'll wait till Friday to go to Tyso. I keep forgetting I have to go downtown on Friday, so I'll just, yeah. Never mind, I'm just going up to Fraser. <laughs> Fraser. Fraser is cheap. There. My hair is so itchy. So then that way I probably, I'll probably do some like cooking or cleaning before I head out, but I'm not going to do vacuuming right away. Because I know the vacuuming always puts me out. So yeah, but I do want to make, um, I do have enough tofu and stuff like that that I got to use up. And, uh, yeah, I'll just go up to Fraser. <laughs> but first I'm going to go to bed. So here I am rambling on for a half an hour. But yeah, <laughs> you don't have to worry about taking but to the vet. He's good. He hasn't been peeing. He hasn't been throwing up. He hasn't been attacking me. So things are good. <laughs> He's good. So that's really all that matters right now. And staying close to home today. So we're going up to Fraser later. So like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm probably going to be asleep in the next hour. And I'll talk to you next time I'm awake. And like I said, I'm just going up to the freezer and that's it. I'm going to get Bud some toys and treats later today. You know, I'm going to find some stories. Have a good night.